Hi, good morning everybody. Uh, I'm doing this uh, walkthrough for the latest room airplane. I already to fly. It. Hey, got confused in this in this room. Uh, today is the day. There is a zero day uh, through a hint. Nice hand. He said is to figure out what that pot does. So, so let's start and then we can talk about that pot. Uh, as always, I start. Uh, uh <coughs> sorry. We can find three potters, SSH, then 6, then 8,000, and 8,000, and then if we go to Nmap, Nmap of course will give us the redirect to airplane, so it means we need to add to ETC hosts, so you need to airplane domain to uh, ETC hosts. Uh, it works. Uh, but Python 3.8 there is yes there is if you search there is a CV here but there is no uh, exploit available yet then if you go to the port 6048 it tell you is some x1 and you get in rabbit hole because you think it's that windows uh, I think screenshot or something if that's why the exclamation mark and it's not it and then when we get to go, uh, directory uh, for the port 8000 you find another one is called airplane okay if we start uh, a port 8000 we can find uh, an airplane nothing special the first thing will trigger you is this page equal index of course when I saw this it's straightforward it's in LFI local file injection or remote file injection remote file injection didn't work any case, also we uh, remember we said there is another folder in that same directory called airplane, and this folder just give us this animation from uh, this, and there's nothing special about this page. If you go to the page source, it's just a normal HTML, is zooming and rotating, so there's nothing special about this. It's just a normal HTML here running. Maybe that's the simulation or something for this room creator. So there's no. Uh, nothing about it so this uh, for me it was a dead end so there is nothing there it just freeze your computer for a while just close it if we go there you can see we can uh, straightforward you think it's an LFI without fancy things I think you go down with four this one if I remember it correctly etc pass W let's try it yeah, okay it's four so we can get a pass uh, password directory file Interesting part in this, can we... Uh, what's this one? Uh, <coughs> preference, uh, where is the, the font? Uh, da, 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 font, let's make it bigger. Uh, Okay, if we, if we open up uh, these two accounts that are very interesting here, we can see them is uh, the one, of course, the interesting is the one that we have shell on it. So we have this, the rest are no login, no login, so that's not interesting. We have to, one is Hudson with 1001 and one with Carlos and of course uh, the root machine. So these two users we have in this machine, interesting, Carlos and Hudson. The other uh, file we can get is uh, groups. I think called the groups. No, group without an S. If we go to the group file and we open the group file, uh, we find the root is in group there. Uh, and then we have uh, Carlos is in his, his own group, uh, Hudson is in group. And then interesting one, where is that one, uh, the interesting f one? SUDO, we have Carlos inside the SUDO. So it means it gives you an idea, so the first shell will be Hudson, and then we need to find the uh, lateral movement to uh, upgrade our privilege to Carlos, so Carlos has a SUDO. So we need to go to Carlos, and from Carlos we go to root. Also we have... Um, ADM. 
the log file. So it's syslog. So user Hudson and Carlos are not part of the ADM, so we can do log poisoning like uh, the previous room include. So we can't do. P so we have an LFI. We can't have. Uh, uh, log poisoning and there is no other so we yeah for example I was you can go say home Hudson but there is no really interesting file I can go to for example uh, I assume when we get share we are Hudson so the 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 flag user flag is in uh, Carlson and we don't have that I thought we can do AP uh, ID RSA but not found so we don't we can't have directly stealing information like that so the idea is what we can do of course yesterday I was freaking out so so we need to figure out what what that port does and I think the part that he's referring to of course is this port what is 6048 is doing it say x11 but it's not x11 so so what we can do is now we go linux how we know a file or process in linux what file we can use uh, where is that uh, in linux the interesting file is the procnet.tcp this file basically will give you TCP connection including the local and remote address and ports. So that's the one you start always with, the PROCNET TCP. So let's get the PROCNET TCP and see what we get there. So if we go PROCNET TCP and there is also TCP6. So we have, a, so if we go to this file, now we're looking for the process that are run our goal is to look for process that run in port 6048. What is the port that run in that 6048? So let's. Uh, yes, sometimes. Uh, why is don't want to zoom in? Let's zoom it in. So, so we have uh, what the hell? So we have uh, the TCP. So we have this file. What it tell us now? Of course, there uh, uh, they call it hexadecimal. If we go to converter here, if you convert the 17A0 to give us 6048, so 6048 is 17A0. So the file we're looking for 17A0. This is our process. UID is 1001, which means our friend Hudson. So we know Hudson is here. So, the, as I said, the first share will be Hudson, and then we have uh, uh, this is what uh, the inode, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Any case, so now we can see the process, but we don't know what's the name of the process. Now, what's our next best thing to do? The next best thing to do is follow. In, in most process in Linux we have this, in the PROC folder we have this folders. We have the PROC, the PID, and the command line. This gives us the command line to start the process, so we can know. The status, various states information of the process, the directory, and then the environment and the current working directory. So now of course we don't know the PID because the TCP things doesn't give us the process ID so we need to find the process ID so how to find the process ID uh, in the command line it will start the process and define the port so basically I got help from uh, my friend ChatGPT, and then this is the Python script this is the Python script that use the transversal page and try to find the command line and then 
uh, I'm starting it from 1 to 5,000 you can uh, make it and change it the idea is to find the process that has ports 6048 so basically read all the, the processes in uh, and read the command line for all processes exist if you find them and see which one that has a 6048 um, uh, port which one uh, run it and then print me the the, uh, the the process and then the status so 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 let's WK. so this is the file the process.py so if I go run it now Python I'll put this one the links for this uh, uh, Python uh, in the comment or in description of the room so now it, it start running and he found it so let's go read what he found he said PID using port 6048 is 50, uh, 539 so we find the process number is 539 the command line is GDB server and running on own interface and in a process for and that's uh, is running binary called airplane so you can see the room is airplane so we know now what's the process I map, uh, remember and map wasn't able to give us the answer and map when he, he threw that he just say x11 so now we know exactly what is running gdb server this is uh, I think it's uh, for debugger some linux debuggers things uh, debugger and then we find the pid 539 is running and uh, Hudson which is 1001 and then this is the status of the process so uh, so all the information will find so we know the whole important of us uh, the <coughs> from, from this part is to find the name we're interested in the name GDB so now how to so because now we know we can find look and search for uh, uh, any any CV or something now it's a GDB server the, uh, we can go to um, MSF console let's start MSF console because there is a, a payload already uh, in there uh, this one let's start that one we can, uh, the, uh, there is different ways it is a Python script you can write they can use directly command line from GDP or you can use directly this one let's uh, use the uh, sometimes make mix not keep using the same things every time okay we got so let's say use exploit multi uh, uh, GDP and then the name of the uh, is GDP server exec okay now show option uh, no show target because it's very important this target now we have a 32 bit 64 on uh, I'm not uh, I forgot what I use but let's let's forget about the target for now show option will come back to it if it didn't work we can switch it off so uh, set uh, remote remote host is air plane dot try hack me set uh, remo uh, remote uh, remote port remote port that we have is uh, what what uh, 6048 yeah 6048 6048 remember we got this uh, our process is 6048 let's see run it what is a display due to failure bad config the payload architect is incorrect or see show target use one uh, set target target one so 64 show option uh, and then also this one to because now we in our machine we we we're using 32 we need to uh, change it set payload linux 64 meta preta reverse shell uh, so you need to be 64 machine 64 target now let's run it now we got uh, we got shell oops let's put it back at all oh, 
so we got shell guys so now we have uh, let's see who, who we are so if we go on ID oh who am I Alice you see the airplane folder and that airplane is just a binary simple plane if you run if you run it Uh, what comment does meant to print? I forgot about them. How you get the? Uh, you know what? Let's switch. Let's do shell directly. Let's uh, ID. You see, now one one is Hudson. LS is that uh, airplane. If we run airplane, is simple. It's a simple program, so there's nothing special about it. So now, uh, what we can do is, uh, whenever you are in the system and you want to upgrade, remember we want to go to Carlos. So, so let's say if we go to Home, CD Hudson, uh, what? desktop document and you have that app so if you go ls app you have template static and that's the file of the, the app what we have so um, of course when you're doing Linux of course we want to move to Carlos so we can find if, if any Carlos let's say use this if we, we find any SID if any binaries that user Carlos can we can run so we can upgrade ourselves let's see if we can find them uh... what happened? well he found it so we have... oh... So it's, oh what happened here? so we have uh, find the... Uh, ls minus la user binary find so this one has the s on it so we can we can do this of course where you go to do these things you go to this you find uh, fi find we are so so we can go it's this find exact binary as minus p exit so we can already have it here so what we can do we already have it here so we just copy this Let's make sure so we are in the same place. That's how I am now. So if I switch, and then if I do an ID, you can see what happened. I'm still in the Nahatsen, but effectively I'm in Carlos. So this is interesting. Now, uh, I need a shell. Uh, now I'm, I'm, I'm Carlos, so I can go to Carlos home. Uh, that's his user, so I can do head minus C, guys, and just... I can't print the flag, you can the flag, it is there. You, when you follow, you'll get it. Now, uh, tut, 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 we need the... I don't have a stable shell. CD SSH LS LS MSLA nothing. Uh, let's do the, the, the old. This is the file. Uh, this is the Python. Let me get uh, my key uh, LS root SSH SSH. I don't have. Uh, SSH key oh, no key no SSH why it doesn't give me the key gen oh the key for slash key gen I don't need pass and pass so cut root SSH I I need the public, my public one, it's this one. Uh, where am I again? So we can do echo. Uh, uh, 
uh, home Carlos dot SSH no one no one hosts yeah no one hosts that's what the sometimes when you get confused you get confused yeah that's what you do you take it to uh, yeah, no auto right. No one hosts, not authorized keys. No one hosts, I think. Authorized keys. No, no one hosts. Uh, I think that's how you do it. Uh, are we still, we still, are we, we still, Carlos. So we, we go with there. So now can. Can I SSH now to Carlos at airplane to try hack me? Yes. You asked me for password, really? Airplane tickets, Carlos. Cut home Carlos dot SSH no one hosts. Uh, it's not need to, to authorize them or something. Uh, Carlos, no, I'm got SSH, no one hosts. CH mod uh, 600 home Carlos dot SSH, no one hosts. Should, shouldn't ask me for a uh, password. Why? Why is asking me for password? No one has to authorize keys. Uh, no, uh, you know, I got uh, no, I got confused. the keys is there so authorized keys not new and hosts sometimes sometimes uh it should be authorized Yeah, authorized keys. Ay, ay, ay. Because I, I'm, I'm doing my public key, so it's not the hosts. So we are now in. Um, uh, you can see, as I said, is in group as you do, as we got it from. Uh, from uh, from the group remember we got the group as you do we have Carlos there so we, we are cool so now now we can do as you do minus L and he tell us look you can run without a password in your Ruby uh, script that is in root RB here's what uh, the first thing you can think about it I'm not root how can I put a file inside the root directory and run it? And I can't, I can't, of course, I can't say ls root permission denied. So I can't put stuff. But here's where the, the issue is happening. This as you do when you check, for example, 
it's only check it mean it can uh, you, because this is a wild card this is where the the whole mistake here for, for this as you do the wild card it mean anything it doesn't mean it need to be in root it just say it start with root and it end with rb so you can put anything inside here so that's it's a bit might be somewhat a bit confused he said how can I go to become a root and I need to put file inside the root directory to run it so what's the point I need to be root first but no he just say you can run anything like for example you can run anything even just anything as long as it's end like that so that's exactly what it mean now we can get shell and we can do things with two things we can do here first of all let's not let's start without shell uh, let's let's use this file this file basically I'm not doing shell first let's do this and then we can get shell because I know the question is uh, the the file is in the root.txt so I know the file uh, with the name of the file so we can use this Ruby file I'm using tensor to print me only 10 character if you want to use this it will print all the flags so I'm just not so I can't show the flag and you know why so uh, I can call this for example uh, na uh, nano read root uh, uh, root dot rb remember I got uh, help from my friend chargp to, to do to root ruby I, I never really wrote any ruby before so save it so we have the file uh, read dot ruby now if we follow the logic here it say as you do I can run this now I know the name of my script is read rb so I can just put there so what can I do it's simple you can just run uh, no I need to put home in my case home Carlos because this is the same as because you go out then go into homo color so this is the same things so uh, uh, let me explain it more so if I go uh, let me let me do this quickly no I, th I don't think I can do it S for example if I said uh, ls uh, if I say root do I don't have power as you do I don't think it will work but uh, I just want to test it Carlos uh, no, home Carlos read can't access because I don't I'm not in as you do but if I uh, if I run that one you will see something you now because as you do will give me the power and I can go out of that uh, because as you do it, it only see that I have the root which I have it here then it end with RB it end with RB so this command if I, uh, I run it it print me the first thing carrot of the flag so you don't need the shell you can get the flag straightforward so if I change that um, uh, and comment this line and put the uh, comment this line you get the whole flag directly from it so this is the part of the flag now if I want to do shell so let's say nano sh shell dot rb uh, the shell for this is my uh, my IP address 9000 let's get uh, the listener in uh, 9000 uh, what's this this uh, the Let me open one. Zoom in, zoom in. NC minus LV NP 9000 
just put it there this is Carlos this is the reverse shell for uh, Ruby I can just put this simple reverse shell this is my IP uh, this is the reverse shell in uh, let's save it okay to make sure it's there so we have the file we can do the same trick we did before if I go now as you do but I just now put my shell there so now because it run as root I supposed to get where is it let's wait for it so let's run this one now and we go to connection and we are root if I go to cd root ls uh, what why is taking me to uh, I'm root Oh, the shell is not stable. This oh, the shell. It's uh, I think is this. Uh, I got it from ChatGPT. This while command socket get command. Uh, okay, so is 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 something wrong with this shell? Uh, head minus c let's say 10 root root.txt and we got it so root ls root oh, ls root will give me the the file uh, the cd doesn't work so if i go cd root it 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 stay in uh, in carlos that's fine i think there is something not no, not correctly right in this small shell but you you get uh, maybe find some another shell in ruby maybe using uh, uh, one of this is there ruby here somewhere uh, r where is ruby php uh, ruby one we can use this maybe yeah guys maybe uh, uh This is direct line. Let, let, let's try it. I'm not sure. Let, let, let's play uh, play with it. Uh, let's kill this one. Nano shell to do ruby. Oh, I forgot uh, nine. Yeah, leave it nine thousand. Let's see this. If this shell is better, one thirty one dot one seventy. Control X. Yes. Cut shell two. Uh, no, no. Just to make make sure that we saved everything. So nine uh, nine zero thousand. Uh, which this one? Uh, one, let's do that. Let's see if this shell two is better than uh, the. W oh, didn't work. This is maybe command line straightforward. I, I'm not sure, guys. Uh, Ruby no sh Ruby minus R socket. Any case, uh, we got. I'm not sure. I don't want to waste time. I don't know if uh, what's wrong with this shell, but but any case, uh, a simpler shell like this one worked. So uh, where is it? this one work fine it just doesn't go to the directory you can get it so we got with this one or you can just get uh, read the file directly so you don't need to get the reverse shell. it's not always you need reverse shell uh, we got uh, the most important one for the proc then we got uh, 
that and that and the P Python script I will uh, this one the one that gave us the, the port I will put the link for it uh, thank you very much every uh, guys I hope you like it and if you have a comment on different ideas please let me know thank you very much and have a good day